Hey guys, Lexi here, and Happy New Year! It's been crazy with the holidays going on, people are starting to go back to school and work, and vacations are ending, and it just all seems like a time for change, a time for resolutions. Well, not on this channel. Wow. Today we're opening up a large Littlest Pet Shop playset. It's the Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Dozen playset. There seems to be an Angora bunny, a Pomeranian, Anglerfish, a bird, looks like a pigeon maybe or a budgie, a hippo, kitty cat, cockatoo, chameleon, butterfly, and a mystery pet. So without further ado, let's open the set. It came with a little checklist pamphlet. I'm not gonna open it up because it looks like an old one with the first wave of canned pets on there and some pets that we've already seen before, so I'm just going to go to the unboxing. And I was mistaken, you have three mystery pets. So the set comes with three normal sized LPS. We have the Angora Bunny, the blue teal and periwinkle budgie, and a pretty purple frosted hippopotamus. So first up we have the bunny. She seems to be a nice buttermilk yellow, butter yellow color with these pretty blue bonnet looking eyes. She's fuzzy so you can tell it's Angora. Her tail almost looks like a little flower. She has the LPS insignia, little hole in her paw. Very cute, very country, uh, like going to the country bunny. I could just see her, you know, picking flowers on the hillside somewhere. So very cute. Next up, we have the budgie. She is a lovely teal and periwinkle color with um, yellow accents, light brown, kind of orange and mustard yellow eyes. So a great contrast to the cool colors. Love the details of this mold and it's the same mold as that one budgie parakeet they have on the TV show. So that's cute, nice, very cute. And then this is probably my favorite of the normal size pets. It's a purple hippo. You have the LPS insignia, nice detailing on the back there with her little wrinkles. Great contrast with the purple and green and yellow eyes there. And it looks like she's part of the frosted line that came out before this big set. I think I have the lamb and an elephant from that line. Anyway, just very, I love how it ties in. Um, very understated with just the uh, gradient on her chest there. But very cute, very lovely pet. Now on to the minis. This pack came with four mini pets. You have a Pomeranian, an Anglerfish, a Cockatiel, and a Kitty Cat. Let's start with the Pomeranian. She has a very fluffy mold, lovely violet eyes, the LPS insignia, swirly tail with a bit of an ombre effect going on there, and a nice little off-colored neck floof. And her head does turn. I know that this character in the LPS show is a bad guy or a mean girl, not really a, a good dog, but I cannot help but love the mold because I used to have a Pomeranian and it's just such a detailed mold. They got a lot of the Pomeranian features correct, so that makes me happy as an animal lover. So very cute dog. Next up is the Anglerfish, and I think I love this pet so much because of its bright colors, which is very interesting. Because Anglerfish in the wild, they're normally a dark color since they're found at the bottom of the ocean in like dark uh, waters, and that's why they have the bright uh, angler hook here to secure prey with, to entice prey with how bright and flashy it is. But this guy just looks like he's ready for a good time, like a good party. He has a great color scheme going on with the almost Hot Wheels uh, blue and red there and the bright neon angler part of his feature. The little, <laughs> look at those little chompers. They're just so cute. Let's see, and the LPS insignia is right there and he just looks like he's a cute little fishy. He's so cute. Here we have the cockatiel, and I've noticed that the bird molds, they have this diva look going on, and I don't know if that's just because the main bird in the LPS TV show is a diva herself, or if it's just the bird mold itself. A very cute cream base with some blush 
orange tangerine blush accents, lilac eyes, some tangerine colored top feathers, and and her head does move. So that's very cool. I love when you can position them. And last on the mini scale pets is this almost metallic light red kitty cat with teal eyes. I don't know what it is about this mold, but anytime I see this kitty cat, I think I had one in the crystal, Target exclusive crystal set. I'm just underwhelmed. I mean, it's cute, cute colors. Like the colors together. You can change her head position, her head moves, so you can change which way she's looking. But this mold just, it leaves me underwhelmed. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I like the fluffy cats better, I guess. But overall, very cute kitty and love the colors. Next, we have the teensy size pets. And I'm showing the teensy size pets that you see in box. I'm sure that the three surprise animals are also teensy. I'll just do a review real quick of these guys. I think I got these guys in my eBay haul if you want to check that out. Just because I didn't think that I would buy this set and I haven't seen that set in my targets. But as you can see from the butterfly, her head cannot move. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with LPS is when, you know, you can move all the mini size pets' heads, the normal size pets' heads can bobble, and yet only half the teensy's heads moves. Like, the chameleon's head moves, the butterfly's does not move. And I don't understand that. I mean, I guess maybe the wings would have gotten in the way, and so they're just like, well... To make it easier, we're just not going to have the head move because the product is more stable like this as it is, but it's very irritating to me. I like everything to be uniform, but uh, the butterfly is really cute. She's a teal or light blue colored butterfly with purple wings. Very cute. And the chameleon is like a avocado green. No, uh, that's all. No other colors, black eyes. The mold is really cute. I'm very, oops, love chameleon molds, but again, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Just, just green with the gimmick that its head moves. And this is a lovely surprise. The three mystery pets are two teensies and one mini. I was thinking I'd get three teensies. Lovely surprise, and I love the little snake mold. I love how she has her little tongue sticking out. That's so adorable. I guess we should start with the mini. It's a Westie dog with light gray coat and lime green eyes. Uh, I love how her eyes pop on her head there. I mean, they're just so cute with the cute little black nose. I love the details of the whiskers um, molded around her muzzle because that is a terrier thing. That is a Westie thing. Um, so very cute puppy dog there. Next up, we have the kitty cat Teensy. She's a light, almost buttermilk yellow with pink accents on the ears and nose. And her head does move. I tested it out. Don't want to waste your time by showing you again. And then last but not least, we have this cute pearly white snake here. Well, I guess she's less pearly and more just white. Um, but she's very cute with a pink, reddish pink tongue sticking out, and her head does move. Oh, and they do have pegs. I'm going to assume that they all have pegs uh, to put them on cute little things on play sets and everything. But very cute. Very cute. Um, I really like these mystery pets, and none of them have the little mud splash on their head to make like a grumpy pet. So I guess that Hasbro is moving away from that trend. Um, very cute. And here are all the pets that were in the Lucky Dozen playset. Thanks for sticking around for my review of these lovely pets. I'd have to say my favorites are either the Teensy Snake or the Hippopotamus. And my least favorite would probably have to be the Mini Cat and the Teensy Chameleon, sadly enough. I don't know what it is, but the all green avocado, uh, just... <laughs> I'm gonna make some 
on the back or something like. I don't know. The butterfly at least has a two-toned color scale, even if it can't return its head. But tell me what you think in the comments below. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? And maybe what do you hope Hasbro brings to the LPS table in 2019? Let me know. I love to hear feedback. I love to respond to your comments. Uh, it just makes me so happy to have conversations with you guys. And have a great week. Hope your first week in 2019 uh, started off with a great start to the year. Bye. Oh, sorry, my nose is just... <laughs>